was a little boy At the age of five I had something in my bucket Keeps a lot of folks alive Hello YouTube, welcome to my first video tutorial on how to I'm gonna show you how you can connect the YPG 235 keyboard and in this case and to an Acer Aspire laptop and using FL Studio number 10 so okay so like I said I'm gonna show you how you could install the keyboard into the laptop and but first you don't connect the keyboard then you won't install the drivers for it uh, first can even speak now in order for your laptop or desktop to recognize it so you want to go to the Yamaha main website so in order to get the drivers for the keyboard the latest drivers because I know your keyboard might have the drivers but those are not the latest ones so you want to go to their Yamaha uh, website so go to Google and type in Yamaha uh, like I said again, don't connect, don't connect the uh, the keyboard yet. I'll show you when. So go to Yamaha, and here where it says Yamaha motorcycles, outboards, ITV, whatever. Just click there. Okay. It's gonna bring you here. There's two drivers you're gonna have to download. Uh, one for FL Studio, and this one. Uh, for the keyboard so basically on the bottom left hand side go to instruments uh, musical instruments uh, whatever just click there it's gonna bring you here uh, let me see. I'm looking for something that says download I did this before so I'm trying to remember in order to show you so bear with me so yeah okay click there On the the one if you didn't see I clicked on musical instruments on the page before and it took me to this one. What I'm looking for is something that says downloads. So let me see here. Okay. No. Okay. La let me see back here. No, 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 no. And uh, let's go to support. So basically you here. Okay. And there you go, downloads. So basically, go to support, and then downloads. Okay, click there. Now it's gonna ask you to find your model. So, in this case, this is a portable grand piano. So I'm looking for something that says portable. Oh, uh, maybe it was that one, the first one, piano and keyboards. I believe it's that one. So, but let me see just make sure and I'll go back up and uh, let me see the, mm, no so yeah I believe it's the first option so you, you're gonna click on the first option so click there and it should bring you here okay the second option it will be this is where you look for portable uh, portable keyboards that's what it is portable keyboards click there and the model number there you go you're gonna look for YPG 235 so just scroll down look for YPG 235 which that's this is the model that I'm using so if you have something else just look for your model and hit select on the bottom right hand side all right let's see let's see it's looking for it so and scroll down here it's the first option which says USB MIDI drivers uh, go ahead and install that to your laptop uh, once it's said installed and successfully installed and so this is where you now connect your keyboard uh, your keyboard on the back side it should have a MIDI USB output that's where you connect it and then it goes to the USB in the laptop or desktop 
uh, whichever is your preference. So yeah, install the first one. And once installed, again, this is now where you uh, connect your keyboard to the laptop and turn it on. And make sure your laptop recognizes your keyboard. So that way also FL Studio is going to recognize it as a MIDI controller or whatever. Uh, the one, the the other driver that I was uh, mentioning to you about it is the I don't know how to pronounce. It, I think it's ASIO for all or ASIO for all, whatever. Uh, this driver, uh, I'm opening FL Studio now. This driver is for to eliminate that delay that if you hit a key on the keyboard and it, and it plays back later on on FL Studio, so it it will eliminate that and you have a quick response. So basically, open your settings. On your FL Studio, so it's MIDI. Okay, on 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 this part here, where it says input, it should says Yamaha and your model number, whatever Yamaha keyboard you're using. If it doesn't appear anything there, so just go back down here and says rescan. Click that, and the FL Studio is gonna rescan for any MIDI whatever. Uh, is connected to the laptop so then it should appear once it's there you're okay you okay so now you can use your keyboard in order to use synthesizers that I use for live performance uh, I, I can I'm on a budget so I can afford the big uh, synthesizer expensive one so I use this one uh, you see, I have opened many synthesizers, and uh, with just with one click, it'll go to a different sound. And I, again, I use it for live performance. Uh, believe it or not, my Acer haven't crashed. It handles the heat, so if you want to use a Mac, that's up to you. So enjoy. If you have any comments, uh, just leave them. Ask me questions, and I'll get back to you. I'll leave you with some uh, pictures that I have for my the way I have the keyboard set up. So there you go.